Hi Fire Signs, welcome back to my channel. Thank you everyone for being here for your weekend tarot reading. We are going to be looking at what's coming up in these next couple of days, so next 48 hours. Any messages from your person, anything that comes up um, that you can sort of expect, we are going to explore. So let's jump into this. Um, it can be to the cross watchers, so if you're dealing with a fire sign, this will certainly help you as well. Um, and if anyone out there was after your private reading, please reach out. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That would be amazing. So let's have a look and see. Water signs. Uh, sorry, fire signs. I just did water. This is fire. Let's have a look. I don't know. There could be a water sign. This person has come up. Ten of cups. This is powerful. Okay, strong cancer. That's coming through. Um... Or a very powerful moving forward in a situation. Okay, I'm getting moving forward or moving on. Then I'm also getting that someone, there is someone here this weekend who you may hear from that has possibly tried to move on from you. They tried to move forward in a situation or move away from you. It might be an air sign, um, but they literally can't get you out of their head. Fire signs, you're here. You've come up as the king of wands. Um, and literally, it's going to drive whatever they've been doing, it's literally going to drive them back into your arms here. So there's someone who is definitely hung up. It could be someone you've lost maybe in the last five days, five weeks, five months. Um, the chariot can be the past and like overcoming the past. So I do get like this nostalgia thing. Um, I am getting like a breakup or a moving on of some kind. Um, but I feel like with the Ten of Cups, it's not necessarily over. Um, where was I? I had something here. Okay, there's definitely a lot of water here. Um, so I'm getting that there's someone who's very deeply emotional over you this weekend. Now, if you've got like anniversary dates or you had plans, you're no longer with this person or you're in no contact and you had plans to do something, to be somewhere together or to celebrate something, they are really feeling the heights of this, okay? It's a super emotional weekend. Now, you may find that you too are uh, emotional about this fire signs, and that's, you know, that's saying a lot. I feel like you, you had big plans with this person. You thought they would be your forever person with the Ten of Cups, the Chariot. It's not too late if that's what you're wanting. Um, things can be reversed, but right now I'm seeing loss, Loss is coming up quite heavily. Let's see if there's anyone that wants to say anything. And what would they say? Okay. I want to tell you how I feel. I wish things could be different. Okay, there's a lot of regret coming through. Wow, okay, there's a lot of regret. Um, I feel like there's someone who messed up. And... They're feeling bad about it. They are. They're sort of sitting sitting here with the Four of Pentacles and thinking over things. Um, they want to tell you that they regret it and they want to tell you how they really feel, but they're scared you've moved on. You're coming up as the King of Wands, Fire Signs. You've got your stuff together. Um, deep down, there might be a part of you that's suffering, but you're not showing it. And the only part of you that this person is seeing is that like really composed part with the king of wands so i get a sense that with the five of cups there's someone that feels like they've lost you for good so maybe you've mo you've moved on you've rebounded you've done some things you're in no contact you know and you have ego fire signs i swear like you guys can you know you can't win okay if it's a competition you're winning okay not them they can't win i should say so like you know what i get i get a vibe that it's them feeling like there's no point why should i even try and that's you know that's a bit sooky i don't like it how they're not having the effort to do anything about it they really should but they're not four of pentacles i don't know maybe they need time to heal and overcome this the chariot card is telling me if this if you know if this is what you want to work through i think this person will will be able to give that to you um, but they're not in a place to show you how vulnerable they are or how badly they're doing. They don't want to show you fire signs. They're afraid that you might see them as weak or they're afraid that you might punish them even more. 
they're afraid that of, of, of telling you. And I think that's why. And it could be like, you know, they see you doing well. Remember, they don't know the ins and outs. It's like, especially if you haven't let them in about that. So they don't really know what's going on internally with you. You're good at that, I have to admit. But yeah, they're seeing it. And then they're like, no, I'm not going to show this fire sign how, how badly I'm actually doing. You know, they might not necessarily be in a good place. I do want to say there is still hope here as much as there's regret. Okay, they, they're wishing things could be different, especially with the Ten of Cups. This person is still imagining a future with you, so they still have hope um, on some level that you two will one day be together, be reunited. I'm seeing a whole kids, family, or moving in together kind of energy. So maybe you had plans to do those things. It never, it never happened. It fell through. Um, but then again, you know, it's wishing and wanting there's not much action that's being taken and that's because I feel like you know they're they're probably really depressed fire signs I mean like when you're just depressed and down you don't really have a lot of energy to do much else right like you use your last bit of energy to get yourself ready in the day or you know to get to work and show up on time or you know so I feel like I kind of feel for this person are they being a bit sucky like um how do I say this are they being a bit um like, are they wallowing in pity? Probably. But they probably just don't have the energy. They don't have the energy to go out and chase you right now. And I know that's what you're wanting. You want them to pick up the phone. You want them to text you. You want them to say, well, there are, there are I'm sorry. You know, and for some people, they might. They might show up and they might do this. It may happen very suddenly in these next couple of days. Very unexpectedly, it could play out that way. Um, or it could be upon your initiating of the conversation. So you might be the one to sort of reach out first and then it goes from there. Um, so mm, it's an interesting, it's an interesting story, but I reckon let them sit on it. Let them think about what they did. They definitely did something they're not proud of because otherwise, why would that regret be so big? So obviously, you know, sometimes people need to, you need to let that sit with them. So maybe let that happen. But there's definitely someone here who's really, really missing you. Um, you know, they're probably not in the best place. You might even want to check up on them via signs. You've got, a, you've got a bit of a soft spot for this person. I know you do. So that might be on the cards here for you in the next couple of days. But I'm going to leave it there. So thank you, everyone, for tuning in. It does mean so much. And I do hope to be in touch very, very soon. So thank you for all your likes, shares, subscribes. And we'll catch up soon. So thanks and bye for now.